During today's Pima County Board of Supervisors meeting, the Pima County Recorder's Office went over a report regarding the 2022 primary election with supervisors. News for Tucson's Angelique Lazardi is live in the newsroom with the details regarding that report focusing on early voting operations and what improvements need to be made. Angelique. Well, yes, Monica, the Pima County Board of Supervisors, along with the Pima County Recorder's Office, discussed various findings and improvements that need to be made regarding the 2022 primary election action report regarding early voting operations. Here's the details. The early voting operations overview reveals that the August 2022 primary voting locations, there were about 621,789 active voters eligible to participate in the election. Now, 473,175 of those voters were registered as active early voters and also in that 11 page report, a section focused on the recorder's office ballot processing center, experiencing issues with receipt of provisional ballots from the elections department post election day. Now election worker physical safety was also in that report. For example, staff having to deal with angry phone calls and emails related to election integrity. Now, Supervisor Steve Christie expressed his concerns regarding technical support calls during the primary election, leading to long waits and frustration for callers. Here's what he had to say. All we want is fair and clean elections. And if these issues don't go addressed, and if these issues aren't either resolved one way or another to everybody's satisfaction, we're going to have the same cycle of conspiracy theories, lack of confidence, distrust, and it's imperative that, that these issues be taken seriously and addressed. And I implore you to do that as soon as you can, sooner rather than later. Now, during the meeting, Elections Director Constance Hargrove said that some of the recommendations regarding the after action report will not be able to be implemented for the November general election. In the newsroom, I'm Angelique Lazardi, News 4 Tucson.